like in Judaism, you know, and, and in Buddhism or in Hinduism. Yeah? In Hinduism, we had Sai Baba, this cycle. We had a guy named Sai Baba. We had a guy named Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. We had many, many of them. Muktananda. We had all these different gurus, and they went all around the world, and they came to America. You know? And after time, you find out that they're, they're actually fakes. They're not really gurus. They have a guy from TM who everybody thinks he's a master, but he's not. He's a bookkeeper. He's a bookkeeper that worked in an ashram and went to America knowing that he can copy what he learned in the ashrams that they did because he was a bookkeeper, he could memorize things, and he could do things and like a, uh, you know, just memorize, you know, just a good teacher, educator, educating, you know, things like that. But he's conning people because he's Hindi. He looks Hindi. He is Hindi. He says he's a master. Well, guess what? You can't tell whether or not a person's lying or telling you the truth. So now you're in shit. You're in deep shit because you got a liar in front of you. And he's telling you he's a master. And he has the key to enlightenment, the key to consciousness. You know? And all you got to do is pay ninety nine ninety five. Yeah? Get yourself a special mantra, your own special mantra, you know? And, you, and, and you, you can't tell anybody what that mantra is. You can't do that, no, because it's special. And you're going to become a master with that mantra. You're going to say it forever, you know? You know? And, and since no one tells anybody who or what their mantra is, you have no idea whether or not you're all saying the same mantra. Yeah? But if you study, you find out that it's all actually set up in the relationship of the years that the person is born in and the time and place that the person is born in, like astrology. And within that, there is a very specific mantra that you get. And that's it. There's in, 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 in a high spiritual state, the mantra comes from the guru. You know? He feels it. He senses it. He starts, hmm, oh, you know, and a couple other little words come into it, and they open up your subconscious. Yeah, that's that's how similar mantras would work. Yeah, but this isn't the case. This is God and the machine, and you bought into it. And then he says, "Well, I can make you levitate. I can make you. I can get it to where you can walk through walls. I can make you so wealthy. You, you know, you're going to be burning money. You're just you know throwing it away. You know, your fortune of wealth is going to be so great, simply because you're in TM." You're going to float through walls. Yeah? You're going to fly. You're going to be a superman, a superhuman being. Yeah? Just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Listening to the guru. And what you do is that you sit and you bounce up and down using your legs. Bounce up and down. You get about three to four inches off the ground. And you're, because you're lying now to yourself, you're flying. Oh, yeah, I'm flying. Well, hopping. But I hop a lot. And I can hop far you know like two feet one time i hop four feet that's almost flying imagine you know and then they get all crazy you imagine i must have been anti gravity you know they must have been you know floating of the tm you know they start making shit up and that prepares you to be a false teacher knowing knowing yeah that process of knowing that one thing we do know is that we don't know we do not know yeah? 